Hey, welcome back. I think we're ready to start writing our first program. Up until this point, we've just been executing commands. This is not a program. Let's see how we can use the editor to make our first program. So if you remember, in my uh, editor here, or in my, um, in my spider, I'm using spider, I've got this window over here, which I've just been writing notes on. This is the editor. And then I have the console over here, which I've been executing commands. So I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to, my, my variable is already reset. My variable explorer is already reset. I'm going to clear the uh, console, and then I'm going to actually get rid of all of these um, things that I've been writing down. But before I do that, I, I do want to point out that we've been writing comments. A comment starts with the uh, the pound sign or the hashtag, and it's completely ignored by a program. So um, we're gonna we're gonna need that today. So I'm just gonna erase all of that. Now you'll see, you can identify the difference between the editor and the console, right? By the console is is asking you for inputs. So we write we write uh, in the console, we write one command at a time, right? We write one command and we hit enter and then we see what that command does and we keep going on. In the editor, we're going to type all of our commands and none of them will be run or none of them will be executed until we hit the run button or until we tell it to run. All right, so this is actually more efficient. As your programs get longer, you just don't want to be executing them one, the, the lines one at a time. You want to be writing all of the commands on, in your program, and then this is going to make a file, your program file, and then you can run your program file. So the first thing I'm going to do is save it. And I'm going to go to File, Save, Save As, okay, and then maybe save it on the desktop. All right, I'm going to save this as uh, um, my... Or, um, let's let's say uh, let's save it as hello, and I'm going to save it as a .py file for Python. Hello.py. All right, so I'm going to save that there. And so you'll see in my tab it says hello.py, and I saved it in the on the desktop. So I'm going to change my path to the desktop. So I'm going to make sure that it says desktop, and then if I come to the file explorer, I'll see all the things that are on my desktop, and uh, I should see hello.py. So there it is, hello.py. Right. All right. So that means then I'm writing my program, and my program hello.py is in the current working directory, which is the desktop. You can save it wherever you want. You just want to make sure that the current working directory contains your file. And I'll elaborate on that at the end of this video. So what is our, gonna, what is our program going to do? Well, we can start with a comment. Maybe um, we'll say this program um, says hello and asks for a name. All right. So that's a comment. Again, that's ignored by the the uh, the computer because it starts with a hashtag and so it ignores everything on a line that starts with a hashtag. Now we'll say um, we'll bring in a couple of elements to this. How about let's import the random module and then we'll generate a random int. So we'll say um, int equals random dot rand int and then we'll ask for a number between one and how about one hundred. And then we'll we'll make a print statement. We'll say print are you older than and then to that we're gonna add whatever our integer was. Or we're, we're not gonna use the word we're not gonna use int. Int is a um uh, uh keyword. So we're gonna say int uh how about how about R N D? R N D should do it for random. There we go. So we're, we're, we're generating a random integer between 1 and 100 using the random module and the randint function. And we're going to save that. This is an assignment statement. We're going to save it as rnd. Then we're going to print, are you older than, and then that number. And remember that the plus sign can't 
concatenate a string with an integer. So we have to turn that integer into a string using the str function. Okay, so that's how our program is going to start out. And then we'll say something like maybe, uh, I don't know, hello. Actually, maybe that should be first. Let's 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 print that first. Hello, and then are you older than you know whatever number? And then maybe we'll say something like uh, print. Um, how about what is your name? Question mark, right? And we might even say something like we might even use the input function. Let's use the input function. How about input? What is your name? And we'll save that as my name, like this. Okay. Now we might want to print something like, um, "It is good to meet you," comma, and then plus. Right. We're going to concatenate "It is good to meet you," comma space with my name. And then we can we can bring in all sorts of things that we learned so far. We can say uh, the length of your name is space plus right concatenate. Now I can use len my name, right? But the thing is though is that len is the length of my name, and remember that returns an integer, and we cannot concatenate an integer with a string. So then we have to turn that into a string. And I need to balance my parentheses. Right? Then we can say something like, uh, "How about what is your age?" Question mark. Right? And we can even we can even use an input function for that. How about input? What is your name and or what is your age? And we can store that as my age. So again, that's an assignment statement. So it's going to input the user's age and store that as the variable my age and then maybe we'll we'll say something like um, we'll print you will be space plus concatenate and then how about we'll take my age and then remember the input function takes that and stores it as a string. So my age, even though the user will enter like 20 or whatever, that will be stored as a string. So we're going to want to, con we're going to make that, uh, actually that, that should be good then. My age will be a string so we can concatenate that. We'll see how that works out. Um, or let, let's say, let's say we want to print what your age is going to be in one year. So let's, let's add to that one plus one. So to do the addition, We'll change that to an integer, and then we'll add one, and then we'll take the result of that and turn it back to a string so that we we can concatenate it, right? So if you enter 20 for for your age, 20 would be a string. Then we're gonna we're, we would convert it to an integer so we can do integer math operations, right? 20 plus one would make 21. Then we convert it back to a string so that we can concatenate it with you will be, right? And then Add to that, how about space in one year? Like this. All right, let's see how that works out for us. And notice, notice that none of these uh, commands have been executed yet. Our variable explorer is still empty, and our console is still empty, right? So none of this has been executed, and um, that's because we're writing a program file now in the editor. So they're not executed until we run it or with this play button. So I'm going to save it, and you want to get used to some some shortcuts. I'm going to save it, and uh, I hit Control S on a Windows machine. A Windows machine will save it with Control S. So now I'm going to run it, and here we go. So you see, it ran. It's running all of these commands from top to bottom. So it imported the random module. Then it says. Oh, then, then it, it generated a, a number RND, a random integer, and then it prints. But we don't we don't see that. We don't see that number not yet anyway. Then it says hello, pr prints hello, 
Then it prints, are you older than, and then the number that it must have generated was 15. Are you older than 15? Right? And then it says, what is your name? And it's waiting. It's waiting for me to input my name. So I'll say something like Marty. I should have put a space there. Okay, and then it returns, or it prints, it is good to meet you, comma, Marty, right? The length of your name is five. What is your age, right? I'll put 20, oh, that would be nice, but yeah, I'll put 20, and uh, hit enter, and it says, you will be 21 in one year. And then, now, it's waiting for more input, you see, in, so the program is done running, and you'll see the variable explorer now, is populated and you'll see my age is 20 it's a string type right my name is a string type Marty and RND that number that was generated was 15 now I'm gonna clear all of this I'm gonna reset the uh, variables and clear the command window and I'm gonna run it again right now the number that was generated was 9 right and so uh, I can say Marty and uh, what is your age? About 37, right? And it says you will be 38 in one year. And you can see how the variables have changed accordingly in the Variable Explorer. Now one, one change I would make here is just to put a space after the question mark so it looks a little bit better in the console. And same thing here. All right, I'm going to hit Control S again to save it on a Windows machine. And then again, I'm going to reset. I'm going to try once more. Clear everything and I'm gonna run it again alright are you older than 90 what is your name okay and you'll see how there's a space there now so it looks a little bit nicer when you're entering in your name Marty it is good to meet you Marty the length of your name is 5 uh, what is your age how about uh, 11 right and you see there's a space there so that's good and it says you'll be 12 in one year and you'll see that again now the program is done running and uh, all the variables are accordingly up here. Now the last thing I want to point out before we end this uh, this demonstration is that the program file is contained for me my current working directory is desktop so the the current uh, the uh, the uh, program file is on my desktop and it's called hello.py so if you're writing an assignment program you know for a class then uh, this is this is the program file that you want to turn in hello.py so if I X out of this you'll see now it's, it creates just like an untitled uh, program but what I can do then I can go to my file explorer right and this shows me everything that's on my desktop and if the folder or if the file is on my desktop it should be there there's hello.py PY, and I can double click it and then that loads it in so there it is right in fact uh, if I showed you my desktop uh, actually I'm not going to I'm not going to show you my desktop but if I went to my desktop you would see the file hello.py and and so that's you know that's your program file and it'll be there until you delete it and you can always just open it up and then run it and uh, you know have a blast with it all right so that's it for uh, this module and or this uh, this uh, video. Stay tuned for another example video.